Good afternoon everyone, this is Peter and Leonita from 2HungryDiners.com uh, What are we gonna do today? We're gonna go to a cafe nearby our house, it's called Rustica uh, We're just gonna get a quick brunch because it's a very hot day today They predicted the weather is gonna be 42 um, So we are pretty lazy to cook anything this afternoon, so we're just gonna get a quick lunch, uh, refuse some of the foods, refuse the cafe, and get back and have some rest. Maybe do some laundry as well after that. So, yeah, let's follow our journey and check it out. So, yeah, this is the park near our house, it's called St. James Park. So, not a lot of people doing activity today. Uh, one person doing push-ups Swiss cheese, aioli, and that on chai mataro. And for her, uh, this one here, the baba ganoush, grilled halloumi, uh, raw tomatoes, poached eggs, green salad, and stuff. Uh, yeah, so Rustica is very popular with the pastry. So we're just gonna check out the pastry a bit later. I also ordered this one here, uh, two drinks. Uh, this one is the ice mocha and this one is the juice, it's the carrot top. So yeah, let me try this ice mocha first. That's very refreshing. Um, they serve this in a, in a very nice uh, glass as well, like a fancy kind of coke-like can glass. Um, they top it with the some chocolate and the taste is, is mocha. Um, nothing so special about this, but this is sort of refreshing in a weather like this. I'm just gonna switch the camera a little bit. So I'll get this uh, homemade juice. They say it's homemade, but it comes in a bottle. So I'm a little bit skeptical with this. <laughs> Not too impressed with the juice. I can only taste here a little bit of lime, maybe. Maybe because this is cold press. I normally prefer the you know, juice. Like you get the extract of the vegetables or the fruits, like the palm of the olives. And you know, like a little bit of texture of the place of the fruits. But this one called dress, so it's pure watery juice. So, yeah. <laughs> Brunch menu. This is a typical brunch menu. 
so presentation looks very pretty to me they put a little bit of the uh, mini leaves uh, on top and yes uh, so some salt and pepper sprinkle on the top as well as the olive oil I believe so, so presentation wise it looks very beautiful here let's talk about the what's in what inside here so we have this baba ganoush so real halloumi here two poached eggs uh, one whole tomatoes cut into half and then two toasted bread which is the soy and linseed sourdough they also put a spread around the baba ganoush on top of the toast so yeah this dish costs uh, $17 uh, Australian dollars which is uh, a yeah, typical price for brunch food in Australia so yeah, let's just try it because I'm really hungry at let's try some cheese with the toast This looks really fancy. Um, they have they serve this in a in a metal plate, a rectangular metal plate. Um, this is ciabatta um, roll. They have the size here, which is not described on the menu, but. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what this is. Let me try this one. So I believe this is like egg potatoes salad, maybe. They have some eggs. They have well, this. I believe this is potato, and they sprinkle with um, some chili or peppers on top. Yeah, that's right. I can taste some mustard as well. So yeah, this is the egg potato salad. They serve. Uh, as a side, uh, this one is really good. The price for this one is like 1450 Australian dollars, which is really cheap, I think, in a cafe like this. Usually, they can easily charge you um, $17 or $18, especially when it comes with a size like that. Now, the, the main dishes here is very generous as well. If I open this one a little bit, you see this one, the brisket is like really generous. Um, they have like three main slices here on top of this uh, the brisket they gave you like the Swiss cheese but in my opinion this is like really generous for a cafe like this um, so this one here you have like a rocket salads um, some aioli mustard in here um, yeah apart from that it's just like a roll uh, this is a pickle pickle pickles? Cucumber. pickle cucumbers The roll is fairly soft, it's not that hard, so it's 
can be cut quite easily. Looks really tasty. That is amazing, I think. The brisket is not that hard. It's not that tough. It's fairly soft. You can taste the sweet cheese, the aioli. Um, the brisket is seasoned, just um, okay. No, it's not too salty, it's not too bland. Um, a really good dish here. A lot of different components. Yeah, it's a bit sour on the mouth. But overall, this is like really amazing. This I think for a roll like this.